Hey, hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, the booking magnet. I am the founder of Hollywood Bound Actors and Book More TV. Today I'm talking about getting a script you don't connect to. And before you decline, I want you to remember these tips. Okay? So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, welcome back. This is Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn. If you're new to me, welcome. Um, I'm a professional actress of 20 plus years, and I'm a life and career coach for actors just like you. And today, this week, it's been good. Things are starting to pick back up. I'm based in Los Angeles. Things are starting to pick back up, and there's been some auditions. And there's been a, a one or two that, um, you know didn't jump out at me didn't like just like yes we all know the ones that jump jump out at us we can't wait to tape them like we tape them early quick 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 and then the ones that are just like they just sit they sit they sit or you don't even print it out whatever your process is right so you know i found myself dealing with one of those and i was like i'm not gonna decline because we need the work right we want the work but I was like, okay, what can I do? And I did this mental work and I wanted to share this with you today. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, be sure, you know, to all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. So here's what I did. And I want to pass this on to you and maybe you will find uh, this helpful. So here's the thing. What I had to remember and what I want you to remember is every audition has a purpose. Okay, so some of y'all out there like I don't even get auditions. Like you talking about turning them down? I don't even have them. Well, there will there will there will come a day where there may be some that come across your path and you're not immediately connected to it, and you might have the inkling to want to decline quickly. And I want to tell you not to do that. To remember that every audition has a purpose, and it's one of two things. My students know what I'm going to say. It's either to book the role or to book the room. I'll say that again. Every audition has a purpose to book the role or to book the room. And you have to remember that, you know, before you turn it down. Some of y'all are turning the auditions down when they come because you're you're in panic mode. You don't you feel oh, you feel stressed. You feel like you're not worthy of it. You feel like, oh, this is bigger than I expected. Can I even pull this off? And instead of dealing with it head on, you instead decline or you do a, a, a piss poor job, which we'll talk about in a second. So that's tip number one. Remember that every every audition has a purpose. So that's what I had to ask, tell myself like, okay, you may not be instantly connected to this, but okay, every audition has a purpose. Okay, every audition has a purpose and it's either to book the room or to book the role. What can I do next to push myself through because I'm not connected? Some of you think you're gonna fall in love with every single audition you get. And listen, I tell my book more TV students, I see y'all some in here, I'm like, look, do you want these checks? Do you want these credits? Because you're not going to be madly in love with every single role, especially not in the beginning when you're when you're not having scripts sent to you and you don't even have to audition your offer only, honey. Until I mean, until you're there, even then, like sometimes we just want to work. So that leads me to my second thing I want you to think about when you get a script like this. It's number two is to use it as a challenge. So sometimes some of you want to decline auditions because it literally is challenging. It scares you. You get it. You print it. You're like, oh my gosh, or it's a genre that you're not super uh, comfortable with. In my book, more TV class, I talk about how to do with multicam, single cam, procedurals, medical dramas, you know, mystery, CW network, Tyler Perry shows. Like I teach all of that because I know I have to turn on, put on different hats based on the audition that comes my way. So if I'm not in love with it, I remember that it has a purpose to book the job or to book the room. Then I remember I, I can use this as a challenge. I may never play this role again in life, right? But I need to try it on because that's my job. That's your job as actors to try it on, right? So my third tip I want to share with you, it's going to be quick today. This ain't a long winded thing. I got clients. The third thing I want you to think about is to check your energy. Christine, what you mean? Check your energy because here's why. And I've seen this time and time again with my own clients, with myself. If you don't check your energy, meaning you get the audition, 
you stressing about it, panicked about it, not feeling it, mm -mm, not in love with it, like, uh, uh, for whatever reason, maybe you're in a funk, maybe you're scared of it, maybe you just don't feel like it that day because you get you in quarantine mind and you, and you just would rather chill. And now here come this 12 page audition last minute. If you are still going to do it and you are not going to decline, hear me and hear me well. If you can take nothing away from anything I say this month, I'll go back over them. But check your energy. Here's why. If you do not decline and your energy is stank, your energy is feeling like I don't really feel like doing this or I'm tired or I don't even like this show. It's going to we're going to feel it. I tell my students all the time. The camera is a lie detector and the eyes tell no lies. Your spirit don't lie. Your energy don't lie. I can feel you through the through the computer. I can feel you through the 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 uh, camera, the lens. I feel I can feel your energy in a self tape. So I'm saying, if your energy is still not right by the time you've gone through these other processes, just decline it. And now you have to tell your team if you if this if this was came from your agent or your manager. Now you got to tell your team why you're declining, and what you're gonna say. It was challenging. I'm tired. I didn't feel like putting on real clothes today. I didn't feel like beating my face, ladies. I didn't feel like doing my hair. Get really clear about why you're declining. What are you afraid of? If it's fear, deal with that. If you're just not in love with that, well, it, it, acknowledge that and deal with that. So to recap, you get an audition, you get a script. I'm telling, again, I just, I dealt with this. You get a script, you ain't feeling it. And I'm not saying you don't like the show or something against your morals. I'm just talking about the script don't flow. The, the, the words don't even flow. Like it's conf it, That's what I'm talking about. But I just want to make sure that you know every audition has a purpose. Because y'all know, if you unless you just got off the boat, y'all know how many times you audition for stuff and you don't get that role, but maybe you get something else. Or you don't get that job, that episode, but they call you for another episode. I've had clients, some of my private clients, some of my Bookmore TV students audition for something. They, the director or the casting people say, you weren't right for this, but oh my God, we want you in this and we're gonna write something for you. That would not happen unless you show up fully. It would not happen, I'm telling you. So that's why you gotta know what the purpose is. Your job is to book the room all the time. That's really the secret. Booking the job is the bonus. Y'all got to remember these casting directors, these producers, you forget how far, especially right now in here in the midst of, of, the, of, the, of the lockdown. I don't like to say the name because I won't get flagged in the midst of this lockdown. All these self tapes. You're I tell my book more TV students, all your, your tape goes, goes, goes all through the offices, go to all these people, people watching your tape in, the, in their pajamas in bed that your tape goes a long way. And they remember, they remember. Those shows you've auditioned for four, five, six times. I have, you know, they don't, they don't forget the quality. What do you stand for? What is the brand of you? What is the brand of Christine? What is the brand of Latios, of Nadine, of Quita, of Talisha? That's what matters. So we keep going back. If you miss any part of this, this will replay. But you gotta remember. Every audition has a purpose. And when you show up, if you do not decline and you decide you're going to do it, then do it 100%. Nobody has time for anything half-assed because you're only hurting yourself. And please, my this is not anger. This is passion. You're only hurting yourself because only one actor can only book the job. Only one actor can. That doesn't mean the rest of us aren't talented. And trust and believe when you do an amazing job, casting takes note. When you get pinned, casting takes note. When you get a veils, ca uh, producer sessions, tests, they take note. It's not for it's not for it's not in vain. So I want to send that word to you and encourage you, but remind you, because y'all know I, I can do only thing. The only thing I can do is keep it real. If you're not feeling it to the point where you're going to do a bad job, decline. But before you do, just make sure you are clear on the why. I hope you've enjoyed this today. I am Christine Horn, known as The Booking Magnet. If you don't have my Get Booked Playbook,
It's my free get book playbook. You can download it. The link is in the bio below. So make sure you get it. Also, we have an amazing Facebook community called Hollywood Bound Actors. You can just come on and join us there where we like, where I like to do more free trainings and connect with amazing actors from around the world. If you found this helpful, this show is called Actors Daily Bread. I have a YouTube channel. I would love for you to support me, support the channel and subscribe. There are literally hundreds of videos on this YouTube channel, hundreds. So for those of you actors out there who like, I can't afford these classes, well, go to my YouTube channel, boo. There's like over almost 300 videos there. I'm not even joking. I've lost count. Some of y'all here in the thread have been with me since the beginning. There are so many. So I want to invite you to do that. Um, so yeah, have an amazing day. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.